Hey guys, Damners here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 4 to iOS 4. So I'll be using the Geek Grade method. So I have an iPhone 4 right here that's on iOS 7.1.2, I think. General, about. It says 7.1.2, and this is phone is on AT&T. I'll be showing you guys how to downgrade it. Here's what you need. So the first thing we need to do is download the original IPSW to the phone. So we're going to click on Apple iPhone. Yeah, get that out of here. And we're going to go scroll all the way down until we see iPhone 4. Make sure it's a GSM iPhone 4. Um, you don't need the sign. Um, go and I look for the version you're looking. For me, I'm going to download the 4.3.3 since I already have it. It should be done after you download that. We also need to download the Geek Grade IPSW. Make sure you click on 4.3.3 out of that. You also need to download Red Snow. Make sure you download the latest version of Red Snow. Then make sure and also you need to download iReb to put your device in Pawn DUF mode. So there's also compatible 5.0.1 and make sure you download that and I apologize everybody my computer is so slow wow my computer yeah this computer is dying guys it's really old like I was saying make sure you download iRab Come on, computer, I don't have all day. It doesn't say what you just could you try to find a download link if you have one. So after you download iRab, now last but not least, we need to download iTunes 11.0. If yours is 32 bit, you can download it, but I'm gonna use 64 bit because this is a 64 bit computer. Now here comes the fun part. So once you got all your applications installed, now we need to do is open iReb. And click on iReb whatever. Click yes. And now we're in the next thing we're going to do is going to plug in your iPhone. Once your iPhone is... Well, that's just great. Of course, it does this every day. I hate when it says dry... Every time I plug in a new device, it just... <sighs> just hold on a sec, guys. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. I just don't like driver installs. But now, before you click on iPhone 4, we are going to put your device in DOF mode. So, I'm going to put mine in DOF mode right now. I met, I failed. Right now it's not going to do it again. Hold on a sec, guys. I don't like this at all. Alright, guys. I'm so sorry I have so much difficult difficulties today, but I did get my device in DOF mode. So once you have your device in DOF mode, click on iPhone 4, and it's going to search up. Now 
Now it's going to say your device is now in Pond UF mode. Click OK. Close it out and open up iTunes 11. Then it's going to show up a message that says iPhone has been detected and no, don't download. If you get that message, don't don't download. iTunes has detected a kind phone in recovery mode, so click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is hold down Shift and Restore. That's going to tell you where you want to select your IPSW. So make sure you find your geek grade IPSW. Look closely at the file name if you have the right one and click open. So this process should take a while. Just letting you know this I believe this does not work on 8 gigabyte models because it will I tried it on with my 8 gigabyte ones and it keeps giving me error you know error 28 and I do not like it. I'm just gonna leave that open in case of a driver install pop up. And I apologize for the roads in the background because there's a lot of, there's a busy street so Since I'll prepare an iPhone for restore, let me get a white screen. Then, it, yep, again, and skip Windows Update, yes. Then we're going to get an Apple logo. Yep, just like that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to do another driver install. Like it always does. Yep, and your iPhone should look like this. That's gonna do the the process. And iTunes is saying prepare an iPhone software restoring, restore an iPhone software. Yeah, there you go. If yours, if your iPhone just disappears with less than in, if you get an error 28, this means that you're using an 8 gigabyte iPhone 4. And letting you know, this only works on 16 and I believe 32 gigabyte GSM iPhone 4s. So the reason why it doesn't work on 8 gigabytes is, you can look it up, but now iTunes is restoring. Now it's going to say verify an iPhone software. So once this is completed, it will go to the Apple logo, then it goes in recovery mode, and I will show you how to fix that and bypass that by using Red Snow when it's done. Also, make sure you're using an old PC like Windows 7 or something. Um, if you try, um, you can, you can, uh, you can try Windows 10 or Windows 11, but I prefer you to do an old operating system. So when this is complete, iTunes gonna, you have this message and your iPhone has been restored. Click OK. Close iTunes. Then somehow we are going in recovery mode and I don't know why. Yes, skip driver. And there is one more thing to bypass this. Make sure you have Red Snow installed, so make sure it's the latest version of Red Snow. 
you can make sure you go to right click properties and make sure you run this as run this program as Windows XP Service Pack 2 and run this program as an administrator and press OK all that then open up Red Snow click yes then it should open up Red Snow so do not do click jailbreak but we need to click on extras select IPSW and make sure you use your default one. Do not use the the gate grade. Click open. It's gonna tell you the following build. Yep. Yeah, click OK. Then now click on recovery fix. Now it's gonna tell you to put your device in DOF mode. Okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're almost in DOF mode and it should do Red Snow should do its process. Now it's fetching required files. Wait, uploading first stage, all that. Blah blah blah. Then we will get a white screen. It's going to say downloading jailbreak data. And it should reboot. Then we get all this. Then after this disappears, it should go to the walk in pineapple. And it's going to do its process. Then you're, and it'll go back to the Apple logo. And it should go back in recovery mode. And there's actually one more thing you need to do after this is done. Yep, that was talk the apple, the pineapple stayed there for like a minute. Disappear like a second, it disappears, and we go back to the Apple logo. And it sells in recovery mode. Now there's one more thing we need to do is click back, select IPSW again, and choose the same the the same one, the default one. Yep, click that, hit open, yep, click OK. And now you just need to do is click on Just Boot. Now it's going to tell you put your device in recovery, or not recovery, on DOF mode again. Then once your device is in DOF mode, it should do its process. If you already know how to put your device in DOF mode, you can go, but if you don't, you can watch a YouTube video. Then we get something on the screen, like the white screen, and we get this little, little pineapple. And yours should be said done. So then once this pineapple disappears, it's going to tell you to connect your... Normally, back on iOS 4, you used to set it up by connecting it to a computer. Then when iOS 5 was released, you don't have to do the computer anymore. Now we have an Apple logo with the loading bar. And a pineapple comes back. And now it's going to say connect to iTunes. It's going to, it does the text says slide to emergency. And I don't know if you can I don't know if you can do iTunes 11 like this. It says as in the iTunes store. It says iPhone. And there we go. We are actually activated. Now you can slide to unlock. And there you go. We are on iOS 4 on your iPhone 4. See, we go to settings, general, about. We are on 4.3.3. So that's how 
you downgrade your i your iPhone 4 to iOS 7 to iOS 4. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.